Well, so much of our lives have changed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. If one of those maybe has you thinking about divorce, what does it mean during these difficult times? Attorney Jonathan Marks with the Marks Law Firm is joining us this morning via Skype to talk about it. Good morning, Jonathan. You know, Good morning, you, Margie. Yeah, you say there are several unique factors you want to keep in mind, and a big one has to do with finances. You know, so many people have been hit hard by that. What are some of the factors you need to consider? Yeah, I mean, I think the first factor you need to take a look at is what is your job status or the job status of your spouse? If somebody's been furloughed or they've been terminated, obviously that's going to have an impact first in regard to child support or spousal support. You need to be aware of those factors entering into the situation. The other aspect of it is, you know, how are you going to be able to afford certain things that are going to change depending on that income change as well? So if you've lost money in the market or you've had some form of a loss of income at your job, how about you know, your daily living expenses. How about housing expense? How are all of those things going to play out now that you're dealing with a different income stream as a result of COVID-19? Yeah, and another aspect is to sit and look at your assets. I guess this is with any divorce, but especially during this time, you know, can you afford two homes? Absolutely. I mean, you're always looking at these particular economic situations when you're going through the divorce process. But today it's a little more tricky because you're having to look at things from a perspective that are uncertain. So certainly you want to make sure that you sit down, have a budget and ensure the fact that you have enough savings or you know that your income stream is going to be consistent so that you can ensure that your monthly living expenses are going to be paid and you can afford to go through the divorce process at this time. Yeah, third, I mean, the pandemic has made custody issues much more complicated than they were before. What are some things you want to keep in mind? Yeah, I think the first thing you have to think about is what's going to happen in regard to the fall when your children are supposed to be going back to school. If you really haven't put a plan in place as to what's going to happen between the two parents, if there is going to be online school continuing, whether it's for five days a week or for two days a week, how are the two of you going to be able to co-parent and ensure that the child's needs are going to be met from an education standpoint? And along with it, it do you have the ability to then afford childcare, assuming that it's mm -hmm. available to you during this pandemic time? The other aspect of it is, is are there specific virus related issues within your household that you have to consider? Is there somebody that's immunosuppressed or you have an elderly grandparent that's living with you? What are those factors that you need to take into consideration that are now specific to your household as a result of COVID-19? Yeah, some big issues to consider for sure. Jonathan Marks, thank you so much for your time this morning. If you have more questions, you can contact the Marks Law Firm. Just head to fox2now.com or also our mobile app. We're going to take a quick break thank you. and we'll be right back.